Thank you, Michael, and, and, and really useful insights there, which we can take further in our panel discussion. Uh, let's move on now and hear from a representative of uh, the shipping business. Uh, so give a warm welcome to Aziz Merchant, who works with Keppel Offshore and Marine. So Aziz, over to you. Ladies and gentlemen, a good afternoon. It's a privilege and pleasure to come to Tromso for the Arctic Frontier Conference. I would like to thank the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs for inviting Capital Offshore and Marine to be part of the Singapore delegation to participate at this year's conference. Singapore has been an observer in the Arctic Council since 2013, despite being a tropical country. Our interest lies in the fact that we are a leading maritime nation and we understand that whatever happens in the Arctic can affect Singapore as well. As highlighted by our Singapore Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Mr. Sam Tan, in last year's Arctic Frontiers Conference, Singapore Arctic Research Policy aims to build up our Arctic knowledge, develop solutions to Arctic challenges, and create awareness of Arctic issues in our region. In, do, in doing so, Singapore hopes to make a meaningful contribution to the work of the Arctic Council. As a short introduction to Capital Offshore and Marine, we are a world leader in design and building of offshore rigs and specialized ships. We are keen to leverage our expertise to support the needs of the Arctic communities. The melting of the Arctic sea ice will lead to the increased use of Arctic waters for tourism, shipping, research, and resource development. However, this will also increase the risk of accidents and therefore the need to further strengthen search and rescue capabilities and capacities around the Arctic Ocean to ensure an appropriate response to any accident. Helicopter evacuation is considered to the preferred method of dry evacuation from a facility in any emergency situation. However, the outreach of the helicopters limits the SAR support coverage to only a small part of the Arctic. To help overcome the challenge, Keppel with the National University of Singapore under the Keppel NUS Corporate Lab conduct research on various Arctic-related topics and are looking into the possibility of developing a multi-purpose search and rescue hub, which would consist of floating or nearshore facilities that would extend the reach of the rescue. Another immediate way Keppel supports the Arctic region is through the development of ice class vessels. The group recently secured a contract to design and construct an ice class liquefied natural gas bunker vessel. To date, we have delivered 11 ice breakers and ice class supporting vessels. Globally, there's an increasing emphasis on the application of smart technologies. In Singapore, the Smart Nation Initiative focuses on innovation and startup, test building new ideas and solutions, and leveraging technology to improve quality of life. The Arctic nations and Singapore can collaborate on tapping such technologies to create more efficient, sustainable, and safe development of the Arctic which is also in line with the theme of Arctic Frontier this year. And this has been echoed by Minister Mr. Sam Tan yesterday at the conference. To support of Arctic tourism, we are also looking at the possibility of creating an Arctic hub, a city in the Arctic, which is a floating structure that can allow tourists to disembark and visit the Arctic while minimizing the impact of fragile Arctic. The Arctic hub may rely on network of smaller passenger vessels, ships, and become a destination point. This can be part of Arctic 4.0. Developing Arctic tourism in an ecological and responsible way will also help with the livelihood of the Arctic community here. In conclusion, let me emphasize that Singapore and Keppel is committed to contribute in whatever way we can towards the sustainable development of the Arctic region. 
We also look forward to continue our partnership with Arctic State and other companies to test bait and pilot new ideas and solutions for the environment. Thank you.